Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, today I have come with a very amazing problem from Pathfinder. It is uh, based on dissociation. Uh, guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. And name of this problem is Master the Dissociation Process in Ideal Gases. Uh, by, guys, my current course is on Unacademy is on INPHO Foundation and for JE Advanced 2023. It's a very unique and very amazing course. You can talk to the current students who are attempt, uh, attending these classes. So those who are looking for uh, Olympiad preparation and a solid background in physics, they can uh, look for these uh, uh, lectures. And guys, another very amazing course is starting next week. And it is uh, advanced problem solving for JE Advanced 2021. In the year 2020, this course was one of the biggest hit on uh, uh, an academy platform. So this year also it is going to be the rocking uh, course and uh, definitely it will boost your preparation to a greater extent in uh, JE Advanced 2021 and my other courses which are starting uh, or have started on electrostatics it started on uh, 17th Feb and it is for Hindi students and from 12th March advanced course on electrostatics is starting uh, uh, in English and guys try to access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your J preparation and you can uh, unlock any test paper test series lecture in on an academy using my code Nathan sir basically wherever it is asking for some uh, pass code or invite code you can use this uh, code Nathan sir and also for an academy subscription and for more information you can visit www.unacademy.com and guys trust me physics will never be the same again so here is a statement of uh, uh, this problem a diatomic gas is filled in adiabatic container at temperature t, uh, t1 at this temperature molecules of the gas begin to dissociate if each molecule absorb energy of epsilon or uh, e and this process terminates at temperature T2, find the ratio of final pressure to initial pressure of the gas. So as you can see, some of the molecules are breaking uh, into monatomic in this. So that's the concept. Here you can say, uh, it is a process uh, in which diatomic or tri triatomic gas molecules split into smaller molecules or ions. And this process changes the effective number of molecules. And here we can say the percentage of molecule uh, molecule splitting can be termed as degree of uh, dissociation basically we are taking a fraction of uh, molecule which is uh, uh, breaking uh, from mono or uh, uh, breaking from diatomic or triatomic gas into a monatomic or uh, uh, ions all right so for a diatomic gas uh, this diagram is uh, shown here you can see this molecule this particular uh, uh, molecule here it is going to dissociate and it converts into a, a monatomic gases here. So initial temperature which is given here is T1 and let's say number of uh, molecule is N0 which is not given in the problem. So definitely we need to see here that this N0 uh, will get uh, eliminated. And finally when uh, let's say uh, certain percentage alpha is the degree of dissociation so here I can say finally uh, whatever are the leftover this is the fraction 1 minus alpha is the fraction of total N0 so 1 minus alpha N0 is the diatomic uh, gas molecules which are left and uh, similarly alpha N0 have dissociated so uh, they convert into monatomic gas so double of that number so alpha N0 times 2 so when we add these two, simplify this, the total number of uh, gas molecules, they become 1 plus alpha times N0 here. Alright, now we can use ideal gas equation. So PV equal to NRT, we can say, or this Boltzmann constant, I can write as uh, R by NA, where NA is uh, Avogadro number. So if I adjust these uh, terms, R is uh, K into NA r is k into na here and this n into na is the total number of uh, molecules here so i can write this ideal gas equation in terms of total number of molecules as well instead of moles and it is going to be pv is equal to nkt so at initial uh, condition if we apply piv is equal to n0 kt1 at temperature t1 
n not is the number of molecules so initial pressure uh, i can relate like this and volume of the chamber or container remains same so here you can uh, uh, also see that this uh, p final uh, into v this p final into v is equal to n not 1 plus alpha kt2 all right n not 1 plus alpha times kt2 so this is going to be the final condition in uh, uh, this case so guys here you can uh, see if i divide these two equations i am going to get p final uh, by p initial is equal to 1 plus alpha uh, times t2 by t1 and t2 t1 is given alpha is unknown so with the given data somehow i have to find out the value of this alpha and if i substitute i'll be getting the answer for uh, my question so here you can uh, uh, write uh, for adiabatic container this q external is also zero and since container is uh, rigid work done also can be taken as zero so we can apply energy conservation this is u initial is equal to u final plus energy required for breaking the bonds uh, uh, energy required for breaking the bonds so internal energy of the gas can be written as n into f by 2 rt where f is the degrees of freedom and n is the number of uh, moles so n into r i can write as uh, capital n into k where capital n is number of molecules times uh, k is the boltzmann, boltzmann constant here so f by 2 n k t this is the internal energy now when we uh, apply energy conservation here uh, this is the internal energy it's a diatomic gas so degrees of freedom is 5 5 by 2 n not k t 1 it is like di uh, diatomic gas similarly now 1 minus alpha and not uh, molecules are left so similarly i can write 5 by 2 1 minus alpha and not k t 2 and uh, uh, the converted ones are uh, 2 n not alpha and corresponding to these number of molecules for monatomic uh, gas 3 by 2 kt2 so degrees of freedom is uh, 3 and the energy which is uh, required for breaking the bonds so how many bonds we are breaking alpha n naught so that should be multiplied with e now here when we uh, simplify and by the way in the question it is given e is the dissociation energy per molecule uh, that's how uh, we have written here if the data is given in per moles uh, we will uh, make those changes uh, throughout the problem now you can see when i simplify this i'm not explaining this uh, calculation at all so i think you can do that just multiply the entire equation with two and uh, remove this n not part it, it, it is getting cancelled and when you rearrange these terms and you will be getting this uh, alpha is equal to 5k t1 minus t2 by 2e plus k t2 and guys here you can see uh, then p final by p initial we have already evaluated as 1 plus alpha t2 by t1 and uh, here when i substitute the value when i substitute the value uh, you are going to get this uh, p final by p initial as 1 plus uh, 5k t1 minus t2 by 2e plus k t2 this is going to be the final answer for this problem i hope guys you have understood uh, 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 this problem very well and this concept is very unique and uh, quite important for j advanced uh, type of exam it's easy within the syllabus and yes slightly different so if you have enjoyed this solution please leave a like share this video with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thank you thanks for watching it